True Gamer here and I'm back with another episode. Okay, I decided to do a quick update to my last video and now I'm pretty certain on how to spot them reproduction resealed games from the original genuine ones. So as you can see there guys, I've got I've got three games in front of me and they all have the stamp of approval, i.e. The, um, the logo strip or the logo ribbon, however you want to call it. Now this strip guys, now I've got a, cup, a few copies from across the generations. This is a PS4 one and this um, logo strip has been there since the beginning of time. Across all generations, PS1s, PS2s. As you can see here, I've got a PS3 copy of a sealed game, genuine. As you can see there, we have the PS3 logo strip going all around the casing. And the same goes for the PS5 copy, which I eventually got myself um, a physical copy of Horizon Forbidden West because I got the collector's edition and they just decided to give me a code. So I had to go and seek a physical copy of this. But there you have it on the PS5. It just says PlayStation now. It has the whole name PlayStation. And it, they started doing that from the PS4 era. Okay, third party sellers, for example, independent companies, nine times out of 10, will seal it and will not have that logo strip visible or being present because because they're not really from sony or they're not looking to distribute it from the high street retail any high street retailer company they they more sell their products through their own sources so i don't think they are that stamped is not allowed to be there because that is from south america so basically that's america and this is from france and as you see it's peggy normally i would bank on any peggy game having the um having the 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 logo the logo strip going around the casing but because whether you're from europe or not if you're not really selling it through Sony or any major retailer shop, if you're selling it off your own back, and that's Pixel Art. No, was that not Pixel Art? That's Pixel Heart, and they're their own company. So they probably got their own sealing machine, and they're not going for anyone else. They are strictly independent. That's why most of most of um most cases you won't see the logo strip and that used to confuse me but now i kind of understand but the way you can always identify is by the wire fold there once you see on the corner of the casing you can actually see it's shaped as a y and not only that you have a cut off point to where it stops the fold and you've got a nice straight as an arrow line there. And that's where you, you know that this copy is fresh and clean and untouched inside of the box. And on all of the corners there, you see the Y fold and you see that perfectly formed line there where there's a cut off point to where the fold ends. So that's how you can really identify that you've got a real sealed copy without that logo strip being being present there. And having a genuine Y-fold copy is always a good way to compare any game that you get to see if the copy is genuine or not. So I'll say it again guys, any game from Sony will always have that logo strip perfectly wrapped around the casing. That's if you buy it from the UK. So for all my US Amigos 
and certain Eastern European parts of the world, you will need to identify whether it's a phony or the real thing by that Y fold, which is normally folded immaculately. So any slight alignment deficiency, chances is it's not the real thing. Now, I just wanted to do an update an update on this because I received a lot of messages and some negative feedback saying in America and Italy and some other places they do not go by this logo strip or ribbon which I've now understood fully. I knew it I knew it anyway in in America you I never used to see the strip but I was only really doing that video for UK really purposes on how to spot the difference and all that good stuff. So I just wanted to set the record straight. But without a shadow of a doubt, in the UK, easiest way to tell the difference, whether they are reproduction seals or the traditional copy of the seal game, the best way is always that logo strip. So as you see, these are the PS2 sealed games, which I have. I have a US version, I have a UK Pet Pal version. Now immediately, it did rise suspicions to me because I didn't see the strip on this one, the UK version. But doing my comparison, and all that good stuff. As you see guys, the Y fold is perfectly placed and you can see it's a Y fold. It's a bit messy on the, on the American copy of it, but it's still visible and I can see the cutoff point to the fold on each of the copies. So I was wrong about these two this is genuine copies. The only downside to this, I've got a big chunk missing here, which is a bit of a annoyance, but there you go. It's mostly sealed. So in each corner, as you see there, we have the Y, the y fold and the cutoff point with that horizontal straight line visible. And they are placed identically really still raises a little suspicion but I can be satisfied kind of because they're not it's not actually perfect how I'd like them to be but I'm satisfied with that I, I, I will give it the benefit of the doubt and say I'm all right with that one so these guys, the Yakuza 2 and the Yakuza Fury are the real deal Holyfield, the real McCoy. I'm going to do one more comparison with the, with the PlayStation 4 game. Now as you see I've got the, the one without the, the strip here on my right, Walekia, and on my left. I've got the Resident Evil 7, which has the, the logo strip going around the case. Now, how would I identify this? It's as simple as this. I need to go by the Y fold. Now, that other version doesn't have, doesn't have the, the ribbon going around it, but you can detect whether it's a genuine mint copy by this that wonderful Y fold and they each look similar, identical. As you can see there, as you can see, it's perfectly wrapped as well with the plastic, minimum, minimum room for creases or movement. And the Y fold, like I said, it's, as, it's clear and visible and you can see, you can see it has the, the Y shape there in each of the corners. And also the fold matches each other. 
and it shows where the fold ends with that straight horizontal with that straight horizontal line indicating the cutoff point to the fold so even though this has no strip we have the wallet here has no strip the y fold is proof that these copies are a fresh sealed and genuine and the traditional version of the game there so that's how you can identify we have one with the logo strip one without the logo strip but the folds are identical on each of the corners that lovely cut off point where the fold ends is very key to knowing whether your copy is the real deal. Now, Nintendo are the same from when I recall from when they started doing this, this versions of the game. I can't really remember it. I only remember from GameCube and beyond that Nintendo always had the logo strip if you're in the UK. If you're in the UK, that logo strip, just like the PlayStation, will always be live and kicking on each of the cases. But once again, I've got the American Bayonetta 2 copy and there's no strip, but the plastic is tightly wrapped around, very neatly done, everything is smooth, nothing is overlapping. Now with this is a complete different contrast as this one here, very wrinkly, don't look professionally done and on the back it just looks like it's overlapping like there's two layers of plastic whether it could just be a big crease in it or not I'm not too sure and there's so much room for maneuver inside very loose plastic so this is very suspicious in my eyes but the Bayonetta 2 looks like the re the real deal because it seems very professionally wrapped and if we look here guys we also see that lovely looking y fold on each of the corners and also got that horizontal cut off line here to show where the fold ends on each of the corners so i have no problem with that compare the two like really night and day you have that we have that there again this is bayonetta on the right And this is yeah, Star Fox on my right there. And that just looks like a rush job. Look at that. Plastic lifting off. Plastic nice and tight. Securely down. Stuck down. Tightly. Then here. And even though just the back just looks disgusting compared to Bayonetta, it's almost shining. There, just creased galore. Just looks like the like they've got two pieces of plastic and stuck it together. So yeah, I don't, I don't really care what anyone says. It's a pal. I know it's not, it's, it's pal, not Peggy. So that might be the reason for the strip being absent on the Star Fox. But minus that, the cellophane is a mess with pure creases galore. And not only that, it, it, it looks like two plastic sheets been molded together on top of each other. 
making it seem like it's it's overlapping. I'll let I'll let you be the judge. So yeah, I think this individual has did bump me, so I was right to um do what I did. But for six pound, I hope he or she liked my um my negative feedback. Yeah, but yeah, I I will say the Y fold. The Y fold on the the Star Fox is just a shambles. So keep a watch for disastrous seals like this one. Like the the Star Fox, which in my eyes was badly resealed. This game is a perfect example of a horrendous reseal attempt and I take it back from the other video when I said the Bayonetta 2 was a fraud because it is a traditional copy so there you have it the, even the Wii U you can get bumped and with the Wii U without the strip you can get the real deal, but like this is American anyway, so American don't deal with no strips. But yeah, this is a genuine copy. And this is an imposter. Now I'm gonna get to the Xbox games. Xbox Seal games are pretty easy to identify if they are the genuine copy or the counterfeit side of things because of this security barcode which is always embedded in the plastic and in some cases it's even got a, a holographic stamp printed on the um the, the barcode security sticker so this is the, from the original xbox days and this one 360 once again no holographic stamp there, but we do have the security, the security barcode sticker. And the same for the current, current gen really. And no holographic sticker. So the best, the best security sticker <laughs> was in the golden days where they done things properly and took extra care in what they are doing. So yeah, pretty much Xbox games are very easy to identify whether you have the traditional copy or a reproduction copy. And that security barcode sticker that's always embedded into the cellophane has literally that that literally has been there across the generations yeah as you can see from the original xbox it's been there since the beginning of time but it's a bit weird with the limited editions they don't have any security barcode sticker on it in as you can see with this um Ori and the will of the wisp we don't have no barcode and we don't have no hologram sticker so doing that is a big mistake i can't understand the logic in that so the only way to know if it's a resale is by the nature of the plastic wrapping around the box where but like i say at least they they've got the security seals on the um base copies of games i'm happy with that and lastly we have the nintendo switch and in the uk it always has that iconic nintendo logo strip going around the casing as you can see this 
this Peggy version of the game doesn't, which was very confusing. Normally PAL versions will always have it, but maybe it's an independent seller who didn't go through the retail system for distributing their goods. So that's very understandable. But when I compare the two, the Y fold is as clear as day and they're all matching. And it's got the cutoff point, that straight horizontal line on each of them. And it's pretty much identical. So you can tell this copy is the original and everything is freshly brand new inside of here and not been resealed. Yeah, the Y fold is identical guys. And you can see the cut off point there and the line to show it's cut off on each of the copies. You yeah, have, you can see a better, better, clear picture here of that line, that cut off line of where the fold ends and stops. Very important to know. But yeah, that one is genuine. So when I come to this one here, Ace of Luftwaffe, <laughs> I think, don't even know the name of that, but I got that game for dirt cheap. This is a bit suspect to me, this copy. It's a Peggy, no logo once again. Plastic seems very crinkly and loose and not tightly wrapped like this version of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And look how much room it is for maneuver inside there. You can fit two boxes in there. Look how tightly wrapped there is on the Pokemon game. Nothing. Now, this is where I saw the big difference at that Y fold very scruffy you can you can't even see the cut off point like hair cuts off hair this is all sagging down lots of room for maneuver hair very untidy wrapping not neat crisp and clean and tight like the Pokemon there's no overlapping, but it very well can overlap with the amount of plastic room and loose plastic flying out the edges. And it's pretty much the same on each of the corners. That ends up there and really it should be identical. Same. Um, should be in the same position. You can't even see where the Y fold is here. You can't even see where the cutoff point is. It just looks like it's just been patched on, to be honest. And the same here, there's no vision of, you know, it's all the way up here and it's all uneven. If it was genuine, it will be at the same height and very, you know, it would be identical with everything would be in the same position. Look at that, well up there and the wire fold is supposed to be down there. And that's the, this is the only corner I do see the wire fold, but the measurements are completely different in where they should be placed in the corner. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this has been resealed, guys, and is a fake. 
So there we have it. I've been duped on two so far in my sealed collecting career. And these are the two phonies which I've snuffed out. Okay, after all of my comparisons of trying to identify all of them mock-ups from the authentic version of the games, my conclusion is this, guys. If you get your games, if you get your games from the retailers in the UK, you should always get the logo strip. Or if you get your or if you're getting a PlayStation game and you get it from Sony, you get the logo slip, you get the logo strip, and same from all the other companies, Nintendo and straight from Microsoft. But for them fan projects or the third party sellers or developers that don't go through that um, that ecosystem of pumping their games through high street stores or the um, the actual companies themselves like Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, etc, etc. You probably won't get that that strip around there because um, that strip is strict, strictly made from that kind of protocol. If you're going through Sony or the high the high street retail shops so that's my yeah that's my take on it yeah so the best way to compare whether it's genuine or not is to match them up like when i compare the two where i've got the genuine version of the y fold and to the one that i'm trying to see that's genuine and they should just look identical not one higher than the other it should all be on an even playing field. And also the plastic must be tight, smooth, no creases, and everything is just evenly wrapped around the case. Yeah, when I compare games like this without the strip and they're peggy and they have no strip, you can spot the difference immediately. Like you can see this game wrapping is not smooth and tight and also has many creases at the top and the bottom and all over really just like this one the wii u game crease city let's check that out oh disgraceful so yeah you can spot the difference immediately just by these creases and the overlapping and also here we have the Y fold. So as you see there, you can't really see the cutoff point. And it just goes all blurry in my camera, just like how it's all blurry on the plastic corners. It just looks like it's been patched together. And yeah, that horizontal line very hard to identify where it's at creased terribly wrapped this is so yeah plastic very loose and that's another massive red flag so yeah if you're seeing things like this along your quest for sealed games it's more likely they are a counterfeit and it's up to you whether you want to buy it or not or just head in the other direction like if i know if i known what i know now i would never have bought them so i hope this will show you what to look for when collecting for sealed assets me personally i just go for logo strips if i don't see it I don't pay it no mind unless I have to on drastic measures. If I can't find, if I can't find it in my region, I would just have to branch out. But if, but if you do, at least there's ways to check if it's genuine by 
how the white fold is, how it's wrapped, and most importantly, that horizontal line of where the fold has a cutoff point. But yeah, it's much, it's much easier. It'd be much easier if all regions just had that logo strip. But I guess it's just too easy for for us sealed fanatics. So moral of the story, guys, watch out for the overlapping plastic, how the corners Y fold, if they look untidy and not representing any Y fold at all, stay clear from it. And also the straight line signaling the, the end of the fold. And if you see any loose creased plastic looking overlapping, just run a mile. It's no good. It's normally tight around the case. And best thing to know, just do your comparisons. Always have a real game at hand, a real sealed copy of your own. And you should be fine when you're comparing them because you just know, you see, as you saw for me, some was higher than others. They're always on the same level. There's no one higher than the other. Everything is just twin city, identif identical in every single way. But yeah, but if you live in the UK, just try to don't don't buy it unless you have the logo strip. The resale sellers can never imitate that logo strip. I'm guaranteed. So yeah, suffice to say always buy with the logo strip if you live in the if you live in the uk and it's at your own peril if you if you want to purchase it from any other region just have have the real version ready to compare so you just know the difference and really there just shouldn't be any difference if it's a genuine and official copy of the game Okay guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.